Well, we're at New Maloney's Lake. It's a little bit of early spring fishing. We've got Gary Edminster, captain here, and uh, we're headed in beautiful water today, nice and high. Uh, we'll take a look at the conditions, see what we can do, try to get some kokanee. And there's a controversy in this video I want you to watch, and and uh, we'll need to have some discussion from you on uh, how you feel about it. on top, 55 at 5. 55 at 10, 54 at 15, went down. 54 at 20, 54 at 25, wow. 54 at 30, 53 at 35, 53 at 40, 53 at 45, 50 at 53, same, same. 52 at 60. 70 it's 52 so it's only going down a degree right but they like what 54 they like yeah 54 55 so, so it's going to be shallow yeah. well the temperature probe tells us that the kokanee will probably be uh up near the surface so that's how we're going to do our presentations to start with this morning that's kind of typical fish will come up and be in there where they're feeding and uh, let's see how that does sorry about the delay we uh we're slaying them over here we can't keep the poles in the water they're hitting on the top Top 10 feet. Uh, I had one on the J-Fair up to the boat. Rob couldn't get his out. I lost one on my downrigger. So, uh, yeah, we've uh, had three on already. Lost them? That doesn't count. Are they kokanee? So these are all kokanee? Sorry. 10 more. You are the man. Fantastic. And so uh, you're fishing the surface in what, uh, 50 feet back? J Fair's all the way back. Uh, all, the, all the lines in the water, as far as I can get back. Uh, 65 feet. Uh, uh, and uh, what was it? 100 feet. Fish on. Fish on. Okay, we got a fish on. Well, it didn't take long and we're in it. Right on top. Oh, this is a nice fish. And that's the J Fair? That cotton candy uh, hoochie. Short leech. He didn't have anything on there. Came off. Oh, he was on there. Yeah, whatever. Son of a bitch. Took my corn, too. Well, that's good. At this time of the year, their mouths are still soft. Uh-huh. Because they're early, right? So they're going to be... They're going to be a little tougher to catch. Early morning bite was good, but it was a little difficult getting them yeah. to the net. You spit it again? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I don't know. It's pulsing. Yeah. Not shaking, though. Pulls them pretty good. Yeah, he is. Oh, yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Oh, nice one. Yeah. Talking fatty. Yeah. Catch up with him. That son of a bitch. Catch up with him. That's a That's nice, a nice fish. That is year. a nice fish. Oh, these things are going to be monsters. And by June, they're going to be 20 inches. Look at that thing. That is a hog. That's a March fish, man. Oh, dude. Nice big fish in the box uh, on the J-Fair. And uh, big fatty. King Coochie, 1.5. Blue Silver Dodger. Here we go. Early morning bite, as is usual this time of year. And that was on the garlic corn? Garlic? 
Garlic corn. Garlic. Okay, you're gonna get that off because you're going back through that. That that damn boat around. That net is stuck. So I got another one of those if you want it. I will take it. I like that glow. What color are you going for on your hoochie? Cotton candy. Uh, it's Gary, so there's a lot of pink involved. That's what I thought. Pink's good. That's uh, Gary, you know, color of the rainbow. Gary likes rainbows. Did you ever see his hot tub? Color that things. Let's go back to that, Gus. He doesn't yeah. show me his hot tub. <laughs> 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 you say hot tub, and he said hot tub? Yeah. <laughs> I said hot tub. This is a beast. God. This looks 16 inches right here, I guarantee it. Guarantee it. We are on our spot. Oh, nice. Broke line. Well, broke, broke water. Don't put it up there. Oh, he spit it. When he, when he got up, out yeah. of the water. Yeah. That's why I had my line down, too. That's what I'm saying. You can't do that. Well, neutral's not the same as the wall I Well, I know, but you don't. You, you want to still be fishing, way while you're really. Yeah, because you get to fish every five seconds. Oh. Because it gets, you want to turn the boat off and you got to start losing fish. You want to get the to the boat. You're losing 90% of the fish. No, you don't. You're hooking, you're losing, you're going you're too fast. You're not going to lose fish if on you're gonna, one Well, we fly, how many fish have we lost? How many fish have we lost? That, that last fish that we got I in? Never. You know what the boat was in when we got that last fish? Nobody. It was in neutral. Let me tell you it was in neutral. Nobody that I know that cook me fish is just the motor I do. Constantly. You don't. Maybe when you're going fast or you're going for trout. You're still going one something. The trolling motor's taking you about one. You want to keep your lines going. Well, your lines are still going. You're going one mile an hour. Yeah. Well, that level of it. Yeah. What if it goes into the motor? Says the guy who's using all these fish. I have nothing to do with it. How am I going to believe any of that? With your with your ratio of fish to the boat in the boat, I have nothing to do. With it. I have I've never had any problem in the past cooking fish. Just, 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 just saying. Just saying. Never had an issue. Just to think. You just lost three that fish. How is that an issue? Nothing to do with it, Gus. That's not. That's uh, not why. Yeah. You lost a fish too. Uh huh. That's because we didn't. Think no, no fish. If we were neutral, I don't have that. That fish would be oh, in the high. boat. In the boat right now. Alright, we're not fishing here now. <laughs> oh, fish on, fish on. Okay, so here is the argument, at least the way I'm seeing it. Now, if you're trolling along, you got an electric trolling motor in the front that's kicking out. Uh, and keeping you in direction and, and momentum and then you've got a gas kicker in the back and so my my theory is you got that gas kicker get it out of play so if you have a fish on I like to take it out of gear uh, not just go into neutral but but actually take it out of gear props not going lose that extra momentum and then you have a potential of uh, going slow enough to get some of these fish especially kokanee that have a soft mouth uh, get them to the boat. So here, here we're in gear. The fish comes in. It's a trout, though. It's a rainbow, and they're little stouter fish. 
So there is the controversy. I'd like to hear your comments on this and let me know uh, this guy. how you think the boat in gear, boat out of gear. Which way should it be? Well, as is common, as the sun came up, the kokanee uh, bite died yeah, down. Uh, we continued to fish for uh, trout in the lake. And it's got some nice size. Yeah, I left my uh, knife in the back of my pickup, so I'm going to have to do it at the dock. Oh, fish on. Are you, are you pulling some bottom? Uh, this won't take long. Oh, you got fish on. You got a fish on. Nice one. Kokanee. Fish on. Yeah, it's out of the water. Yeah, your, uh, your uh, J-Fair line's going to be in there? No, you're fine. How far back were you? Uh, I'm, I'm 150 feet back. Well, no, no, I'm going to leave it up like this. Yeah. Yeah. You got on north? Uh, yeah. Huh? Yeah, that's a coconut. Alright, one more fish to clean. Full fan 20, tail. 22 feet, and that was your suggestion, uh, Mike, with the uh, pink coochie. That's got me my, my last fish. 17 and a half. Nice. Well, all in all, a great trip uh, for the first trip to Maloney's. Look at that meat. Beautiful. That's the kokanee, and the trout was just as red. Incredible. Not very full bellies, but uh, big fat fish. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, certainly appreciate you guys viewing it. And please weigh in on the controversy. I want to see how you feel about uh, turning that uh, kicker motor off or not.